We got some more information here on Google Stadia. So covered it a couple times. It's got a lot of attention. C could disrupt the gaming industry for real. I believe that. It could change things. Maybe slowly at first, but eventually. Uh, there was a, what is it? What do they call it? A Reddit AMA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the One of the head guys over at working on Stadia, the director of product, he went and did an AMA and he got a lot of people got all the questions they had. They got them out there into the world because people still had questions even after the presentations. He wanted to get people away from the idea of Stadia being the Netflix for gaming, that there would be no all you can eat buffet type of gaming experience to be had on Stadia. Not that anyone expected it. It seems like a cool idea. It would be awesome. But he's saying that's not the case. Though he did say he believes the $10 a month tier of Stadia is going to be worthwhile. To be clear, Stadia Pro is not Netflix for games. Like some people have mentioned, he said, a closer comparison would be like Xbox Live Gold or PlayStation Plus. The pro subscribers get 4K HDR streaming, 5.1 sound, exclusive discounts, and access to some free games. He then says, this is the important part, roughly one free game per month, give or take, starting with Destiny 2. Give or take, which is a bit weird. Just say it. Are we going to get one game per month? Now, for $10, if you could commit to one game per month, I think that would be compelling for a lot of people. Games are typically more than 10 bucks, mm -hmm. And uh, you get to try something new that you might not have otherwise selected, plus you get the discounts on the other stuff. Now, keep in mind, there will be a free tier, which is the most interesting part of this. Uh, 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 a YouTube tier. Just load it up, launch it up, and go. Mm -hmm. Now, you're still going to have to, of course, buy the games within that tier, but you're going to get access to their gaming hardware, essentially, because that's what you're accessing. All your, your gameplay is happening on their hardware, and you're going to get access to that, essentially. It's like having a gaming PC. you got to pay for the game, but you're using their gaming PC. You don't have to go buy it. So there is a compelling argument in that department alone. An another takeaway from the AMA is that the controller, the Stadia official controller, will not support Bluetooth audio, so you'll have to use headphones via the 3.5 millimeter audio jack. But if you're playing on a Pixel phone or PC mobile device, then Bluetooth audio will work so you can use your wireless headphones along with, uh, along with Stadia gaming. Uh, and the, oh, and the Chromecast Ultra, obviously, you are, you're also gonna need that if you're utilizing the Stadia controller. So that's how your setup would look in the, in the controller console implementation, Chromecast Ultra, Stadia controller wired audio. Of course, you could have the speakers through coming through the television, but wired headset, or if you're on mobile, Bluetooth headset is supported. So we get a little bit more information on Stadia, Stadia Pro, 10 bucks a month. It's gonna take some time, man, to, to change. I mean, this is, I, I guess I've been saying that now for a bit. It's, the concept is disruptive, but the disruption will not happen immediately. Because you're asking people to come over to a whole new platform and a whole new thought process about how they're going to interact with games from a company that really has no history in it outside the realm of the Play Store. And so can they deliver? Will they give up on it? That's another question a lot of people had. Like, are you really going to stand behind this? Because we watch you come introduce new products and kill them. Like Google Plus. Mm -hmm. And there's been many others. But he also tried to, he also tried to calm people down on that front and say, hey, we're committed to this. This is uh, this is our big, this is a big deal to us, and so so we're gonna really invest in it and make it work. And if they actually do that, as you know, will they got a boatload of resources? As you know, so they would be a company that could do it.